Hazard ran cross country yesterday and today he followed that up with show jumping to win the class at Wooroloo, which is brilliant, the three star long. So we're gonna stable bandage him tonight just to look after his legs in the recovery stage after the show. So stable bandaging, we want a nice secure thick pad. We wanna secure my horse nice and safely before I start. And this pad helps us to make sure that the pressure of the bandage is as even as possible. So, thanks. So it works as a nice compression bandage to help all this soft tissue recover nicely. So we're working with just a little bit of tension, just to support a little bit of compression, making sure everything lies as flat as possible. And as you wrap, you wanna make sure that you finish the wrap at the top of the leg with your Velcro. There used to be little strings that we used to tie. They sit nicely at the top of the leg and everything's as flat and smooth as possible. When it comes to unbandaging our stable wraps, we want to again make sure that the horse is secured safely in a, in a good spot so that we're not going to lose him halfway through the process and have him running around with a bandage hanging off his leg. Trust me, it can happen. So, undoing the Velcro, now it's really important that you keep all of the bandage in your hand as you're unwrapping. So we don't try and roll it up at this stage, we're just bundling it in our hand nice and securely so that we're not dropping bits of bandage that might frighten him or get tangled. And the whole thing comes off. And then a quick check, no lumps and bumps, we're pretty happy. We want to just know that we haven't got a tight bit, we haven't created an issue with our bandage. It's done exactly what we wanted and just given him some support and compression for his recovery phase.